navigating the social media stratosphere can be very challenging, especially for new journalists. Mm -hmm. Do you have some best practices and tips for them? I think the, the number one tip, and it was the first thing we talked about today, is have a discussion about something that might be questionable before you do it. And so often organizations are having to pick up because one hand didn't know what the other was doing, they didn't know what the policy was, and so the chance to make sure that everybody knows they have not only the power to, but the necessity to talk to an editor, talk to a, a colleague before they do something that might be questionable gets rid of a lot of those problems. Mm -hmm. How do you maintain your credibility as a journalist and still be on Twitter? I, I think you know the easiest way would be to never do anything questionable, but that's not a very interesting way to live and it's not a very uh, realistic way to work. And so I think when something goes out there that people don't like, and it's so much easier now for people to give us some feedback on what we don't like, to be honest and transparent and say, yes, I got this wrong, here's how I got it wrong, um, here's the right answer, here's what, how we've changed if it was a, a particularly bad error, here's how we've changed our procedures and policies so that it won't happen again. What are some of the biggest mistakes you see journalists making on Twitter? I think um, I would say there are three. One is uh, retweeting or publishing something too fast, not doing any reporting of their own and uh, sometimes getting caught with bad information because of that. I think uh, being incomplete or misleading because of the amount of space, and we're usually talking about Twitter here, that there aren't very many characters, and so the, the stories become misleading or hard to figure out or wrong because things are left out. And the other would be mixing private and, and public lives, professional and, and private lives, and um, hurting the reputation because of that. Can you have a personal Twitter account as I, well, a journalist? I, I, I say no. I say that uh, once your name is attached to the professional uh, broadcast print journalism account, that people see that as one person no matter what. So I don't think you can pretend that there are two different people with the same name that lead different lives.